and you'll be amazed you honestly you'll be amazed at the prices here I was quite like wow really a very big welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen um, we've got something a bit different for you today stay tuned we're going to take you around uh, a bit of fun fun and excitement here and uh, that's here something alternative to what you perhaps have done before and I hope you enjoy it but there's none other than here we go easy cars now you cannot you cannot beat some of that so we're going to try and find out for you the costs involved. I think they have different tracks, different skill levels, but we're going to ho hopefully go inside, get some permission to talk uh, and get some pricing for you. I hope it's not an issue. Sometimes people are weird about filming, but hey, that's what happens. This is it, easy cart. This is the new one on um, Deficit Road. So they are two of these easy carts. There's another one down Valley High Pier. So this is a I think this is probably a, a lower skill level track, this one, and then there's a, another one just around the corner, which is a slightly higher skill level, as you can see. We'll get some aerial footage as well, so you can get a good layout of the tracks. Loads and loads of parking. Yeah, very, very, very convenient. It really is. Just have a, a wander around this side and show you um, over this side is a different track. So there's two different skill level tracks. The only reason I know that is because the Easy Cart and Valley High have the same thing. You've got more powerful cars and this definitely looks like these are the more powerful ones. There's a couple of riders on this, uh, drivers, and then there's quite a few on the other ones. So take a look, guys. This is the, I think the higher powered cars. I mean, I don't, th I don't think the track is more difficult. I just think they are a tad more powerful. Right, so let's see if we can get inside there and, and show you around what, what you can expect when you come in. As I say, we'll give you all the pricing, we'll give you all that sort of stuff, either here right now after this one, we're gonna try and do another. There's another one around here we wanna show you as well, but we'll either show you the pricing here or at the end or at some point. Like I say, we're trying to get a bit of retention on the viewing stats, if you know what I mean. And on that note, big, 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 big thank you to everybody who is now subscribing to us and those who are giving us the thumbs up is helping our, our algorithm. A big, big no thank you to all of those who have given us a thumbs down. You are entitled to your opinion, but why? Why, I ask? Anyway, up to you. Right, guys, I'm not gonna go in until we get some permission. So here is the entrance and I'm just gonna switch off now and we should try and get some permission to go and have a little look around. Just briefly, um, we just asked if we can take footage. Uh, generally, they're okay. We'll just show you things like the prices and so forth, but we're not really allowed to look a lot on the inside, but I have got some stuff on the outside. So I'm gonna spin around and give you some ideas of the different kind of carts and the prices that they do here. All right, so as you can see there, you need to be from 15 years up. There's the race information there. Yeah, you got the fast carts 
And then these are the beginner track. This is a 320 meter track. It's uh, a slower speed, so 40 kilometer hours, which is what I thought. Children here from seven can come and do this, which is pretty cool. It's nice that they cater for that. I'm going fairly slowly on this so you can get some information on the racing suits they provide. They're not mandatory, they have, they have them here. Helmets are mandatory, shoes and socks are obviously mandatory. Lockers are provided free of charge, so bring the shoes and socks when you come, guys, because that's pretty, pretty important. Um, yeah, there's your little height chart in case you were, you know, wondering if you fit, if you fit the bill. And then there's a little... There we go. And this is just to give you an idea of the track layouts. So I was a little bit wrong. There's a small track and a big track. The small track on the left here is for the, uh, the younger ones and the big track's for the, the older and the more powerful um, machines. So just to bear that in mind. Well, this is pretty cool. Here's your podium. When you enter some races, you can come out with a bunch of friends. You even get these... Uh, Special trophies to pose with, which is pretty cool. I like that. That's very cool. So yeah, it makes it a whole bunch of fun. They also do serve food here. And as you can see, they've got uh, food and drink. Uh, they have tables and chairs and so forth. Uh, as I say, I'm trying to avoid recording any people. So I'm just showing you the, uh, the empty facilities at the moment. So there we go. Could you be the next number one? And we've managed to produce our very own Team Pumpui driver. Here she is, getting ready for action. You ready to go? <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, yeah, cool, cool vibe here, cool vibe. So actually, I've just had a, a, a chat with a lady, a very nice lady. If you buy a package of three, 10 or 20 races, you get a free t-shirt. So another little memento to take away with you. That's pretty fun. So guys, that was uh, short and sweet, as they say, but I think, I think we've got enough from what we've, we've taken to give you a good idea of what you can expect. Luckily, we did take some drone footage, so you will actually see the track, which they didn't want us to take here. So, but they're very nice, you know, I'm, I'm not quite sure sort of why they don't want to take, but um, hey, it's their business. We do have contacts um, that they've given us that we could contact if we did want to take more, more comprehensive stuff. But you know, the whole idea of this is to tell you somewhere else you can go in Patia that uh, you may not have thought about, you know? It's, yeah, it's just good fun. I've done it myself. It really is good fun. So, right, we're gonna try. Let me go with the sun in my face so you can see me. We are going to try now and go to another one, uh, a little bit further down, Thepresit Road. Now, just so you know, um, prices are obviously just seen in the video, but this is uh, also part of the same easy car um, tracks that sat down by Bali High Pier in Pattaya itself. So they are two companies. They open from 10 a.m. until 1 a.m. And I think that's a high season opening hours. Um, so yeah, I, I, we thought they closed earlier than that, but no. All the way through to 1 a.m. Uh, interesting combination I did notice up there, which I didn't feel I better mention anyway. They, uh, <laughs> they sell beer. <laughs> but don't drink and drive. Don't do it. It's not right. Right, let's see where we get to next. As you may be able to hear, <laughs> we're now at the next track. And I have to say, these carts are fast. Wow. I'm going to show you in just a minute. But this is a, a place also just off Thepresit Road, and it's called Pattaya Kart Speedway. And my God, is it Speedway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you and walk you in. Uh, as we, Well, we're just here. So we're going to walk in. We have spoken inside. They have allowed us to, to take a little footage. We've got a little drone footage as well to show you up from above. It is very different, this one. And you'll be amazed. You Honestly, you'll be amazed at the prices here. I was quite like, wow, really? These cars are fast, and I'm going to show you now. So you've got different levels. You've got beginner, and then you've got like an intermediate, and then you've got professional, and they come at different prices. The beginner track is uh, sort of down that way. And the track we're about to go and see now is, is the more professional track. 
They also happen to have, I hope you can hear me because it is loud, they happen to have archery here. That's pretty cool if you enjoy a bit of archery. That's quite uh, multifunctional. So here it is, guys. This is Pattaya Speed Parkway. So professional track, beginner tracks down that way. Um, yeah, I mean, I have to be honest, I haven't seen cars like this, but you can just come in higher. They are so far. Amazing. It's like being at a proper racetrack. Honestly, it's just fantastic. Also, I will show you this because this will help you guys if you do come in. If you go on to adding them to line, which I'll show you there, you should be able to scan that if I'm clever enough. If you check in with line, you're going to get 10% discount. And wait until you see the prices themselves. So here we are. This is the sort of basic area where you come in. Purchase your tickets. I'm not sure if you can hear me very well. It's quite something. It's uh, amazing, honestly. Yeah, wear headphones. <laughs> Ear protection. But this is the... Gosh, look at this, guys. They've got... And I'll, we'll go into a little bit more detail in a moment, but here they come. Look at these lads. They are going for it. Ooh, this. Oh, coming in. They are fast. Okay, unfortunately, I started recording at the wrong time. These guys were chucking through at some rate of knots. Unbelievable. So let's uh, just show you here the prices, which was quite something. So if we look here, uh, ticket prices here for professional track. So one period is a 10 minute period. This is unbelievable, 500 bar. That's for the special bar. Standard engine, 500 bar as well. And if you're uh, one of the racing car, which I'm suggesting those dudes over there on racing car, because those are fast. That's 700 bar. That is virtually less than half price of where we've just been. And as you can see, you get provided with all your protective equipment here, as we would expect. And as I say, if you go into the line here, you get a 10% discount if you sign into line. So I'll give you a quick look here. Actually, in a way, the fact they've stopped is quite good for... Uh, oh, oh, and oh, we've got ATV as well. Let's just put that in there. Baby carts. Oh, it's amazing. And look at the baby carts here. Look at this. Look how cheap they are. 250. That's amazing. Fantastic. And here's your ATV. So you've got a 50cc and a 150cc. Definitely. Uh, they open 9.30 until, as it says there, 6.30 in the evening. And these are... Oh, here we go. So if you damage the vehicle, at least you know up front what you're going to be paying. So and I think that's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Of course, you get driving at your own risk. Obviously, you know, guys, as if everything, you drive at your own risk. That's fairly standard, I would say. So, in conclusion to the second place we've gone today, um, this is a lot, lot cheaper. Uh, for your 10 minute period okay it's not as advanced in terms of the sort of surroundings it's a little bit a little bit older but hey tell you what those cars go for it um it's very reminiscent of being at a proper racetrack it really is i mean if you look look at these let me just spin down you can look at all these fantastic cars here they are Start and finish. <laughs> I love that sign. I'll just try and go over to it there. It says kart racing. If you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it from here. It says kart racing is an exciting sport for speedster with high power engines. Karting could be dangerous and cause serious accidents. Please be careful. Now, if you didn't know that before, I wouldn't have gone karting. But yeah, very exciting stuff, guys. I believe it.
that's you can also get um, some refreshments over here. I'll, I'll take a walk around. You can get some refreshments and you know, bite to eat and drinks and so forth. Um, gosh, they are serious machines, man. I want to see, I hope they go again to the show. So, over here, guys, we have, I'll flip it around, we have a uh, little refreshments. You can get a bit of bit of uh, refreshment from the hard riding study cup. Yep, you can get a few beers as well, which is cool. Very, very nice. Little chill out zone. As I say, they've got archery over there. And if you look at there, I'll just show you those. Just it's like two in one, this one, special bonus. But if you look over here, these are the prices. So a snake boat is 200 baht and a recurve boat is 300 baht. And if I had the foggiest idea what they were, I'd tell you. But alas, I don't. See, so they're going to give you a bit of uh, assistance there. And it's also set on this little lake, which you should be able to see from the... Uh, um, drone footage that I take. I'll try and just snip out here a little. This is pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that. Fantastic. So I need to say, this is a, a just another alternative. We're trying to give you an alternative to what you've, you know, been showing you before. As you say, we're trying to tweak little things in the channel we're trying to create content that's slightly different each time um sometimes when we it's, it just sits ever going so sometimes when you think you've really got it and you suddenly get all these views and then you think all right we're on we're on to something and then no they just drop off the other end so we're still working at what we're trying to do and we're going to continue to try and show you slightly different content as we go along we've got some pretty exciting stuff coming up in the next few weeks actually we've recorded a this is our second um video on something different and we've got another uh two or th two or three uh, ideas that that we haven't done at all so these should be something to look forward to in the next, the next uh, two or three weeks we've actually been waiting for the sun if i'm being honest it's been so so rainy and i was sort of getting to the point where our content was getting a bit um a bit low and i was thinking what do we do what what do we do do we just just bit to camera that's that's what we'd have to resort to i have taken a little bit of random footage on the bike but nothing specific but we do have some specific things i.e this one in fact by the time you see this one you would have seen the other one we've done as well which is well, that was a really exciting day and this guys is a lot a lot of fun so those are the two places in fact three places we didn't go to number three it's in belly high it's karting.net so we don't need to go it's exactly the same setup as the as the Pacific road and then this one is the the second and all the yeah the second or second and last one i'm going to do on this particular this particular vlog so guys thanks so much for the thumbs up thank you for the comments thank you for subscribing please continue we are trying to get ourselves monetized it's massively important so you know it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe if you like it uh, like it um don't give us a thumbs down if you don't like it just don't watch it it's not a problem but don't don't hurt us there's no need guys until the next one we will see you soon so i did say we were done and i had said goodbye but they're about to race there's some people about to race so we're gonna get ourselves along here this is uh yeah we're gonna take some stuff stuff from here i think that's what we're gonna do So we are fast. I've said, I've said goodbye twice now, haven't I? We're actually fast losing light, but I did want to show you they do have a beginner track. That other one is a more professional track. And here we have the beginner's track, which is across the road, about 100 meters, not even that. So yeah, here it is. This is the beginner track. I'll just take you in, have a quick look, see what we got here. Um, I'll say one thing here. The staff are really lovely, uh, very helpful. And it's just a nice, nice buzz this to be honest with you this one here let me spin it back i have to say this one here probably feels more authentic as a a tie racing track if you know what i mean it's it's not doesn't feel um 
I was going to say commercialize, if that's the right word. It doesn't feel like a tourist trap. So I would definitely recommend coming to see this. Right, guys, we are here, so enough of me. Here we go. This is the, what they call the beginner's track. You enter via the stairs. I'll show you a little bit of what's going on there. Okay. Let's see what we got. You can hear them still going for it back there. It is getting a bit darker, but let me just give you a, a slight panoramic view from here. There we go. So that's the pavilion, which we'll go down to in a sec. It's nice and small. And remember, children as young as seven can come and, and do this, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Something for the whole family, you know, from the age of seven up, obviously, if they're a bit younger, you wouldn't want to put them in, in a cart anyway, wouldn't have thought. They do provide full gear, like racing gear. I've just seen someone, uh, a European lady, just gone racing. She had the full regalia, overalls, helmets, hair protector, hair nets, shoes, everything, absolutely everything. So some just go for the spin in their shorts and as they are, and others start to feel like a real racing driver. Amazing speed though. That, I think the ones we've seen happen to be that. Okay, these are the these are the junior carts here. So I'll just walk between them. You'd still have to be relatively tall to get your feet down there. Actually, thinking about it. Oh no, this is a little bit more fun over there. Sweaty cup. And if you look over there, sweaty cup. There is the helmets and protective gear. And these are quite cool, actually, little two-seated carts. Look at these here. Oh, these are little ones. Yes. This one, sweaty cup. <laughs> and for me. For you. <laughs> no. So this is a snowmobile, literally. Six this is years, for... that's it, yeah. Yeah? Very nice. Six years. Actually, so I was wrong. I said seven, it's six. And two, huh? You and song, song. You and Kitang. My. <laughs> these are cool. Oh, these are really cool. That's nice, a nice little track. And this is our, our man here who's... Look at that. There's your start of the track. So that makes a difference between whether you're allowed to film and whether you're not allowed to film as to how much content you're actually able to take. We've, we've managed to get loads of stuff just from this second visit, whereas the first one was, was very much... Um, get the old drone up and then just take the odd things or they didn't want us to take the track and although they allowed us to look at the pricing which was very kind of them you know we couldn't we couldn't sort of sit and film a few races or anything like that fortunately we had some of that content from the drone so because you know we, we filmed the drone from outside so you know we, we were in a public place <clears throat> and obviously I have got all the relevant licenses so just so you know I'm obeying the law. Guys, this really is third time and final time. It's a wrap. Until the next one, check you soon.